Of old, God the incorporeal and uncircumscribed was never depicted. Now, however, when God is seen clothed in flesh and conversing with men, I make an image of the God whom I see. I do not worship matter, I worship the God of matter, who became matter for my sake, and deigned to inhabit matter, who worked out my salvation through matter. I will not cease from honoring that matter which works my salvation. I venerate it, though not as God, how could God be born out of lifeless things? And if God's body is God by union, it is immutable. The nature of God remains the same as before. The flesh created in time is quickened by a logical and reasoning soul. I honor all matter besides, and venerate it. Through it, filled as it were with a divine power and grace, my salvation has come to me. Was not the most happy and blessed wood of the cross matter? Was not the sacred and holy mountain of Calvary matter? What of the life-giving rock, the holy sepulchre, the source of our resurrection, was it not matter? Is not the most holy book of the Gospels matter? Is not the blessed table matter which gives us the bread of life? Are not the gold and silver matter out of which crosses and altar plate and chalices are made? And before all these things is not the body and blood of our Lord matter? Either do away with the veneration and worship due to all these things, or submit to the tradition of the church in the veneration of images, honoring God and his friends, and following in this the grace of the Holy Spirit.